Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against Lucky UZB and Electus, and I'm going to be with John Wick, a clanmate of mine. Now, the map is Cross Lake, uh, it's going to be 2 versus 2 battle. Now, of course, before we start, make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel, and of course, smash the like button, or give this video a like, as well as uh, turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. And please do excuse my voice as well as cuff and whatever. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I'm going to be the red player. My partner is yellow. We're on the right hand corner of the map. Let's go as we gather the containers and deploy our base. Okay. Platform to prevent any Delta Rush attacks, and of course, Gun Tower here to prevent any Delta Rush attacks on land. Okay. Additional Supply Centers. Going HQ Level 3. Let's see how my partner is doing. Is also doing great with two shipyards, two Gun Towers here on this end, and another Power Plant. Now, Lucky UZB is the blue player, and he'll be able to get that Super Container right off the bat. As of course, this is the advantage of the Confederation for having those Deltas can go on land. Okay, additional power plant, supply center, going for alligators and avia factory for that juicy dragonfly. HQ level 3 here as my partner. Scout onto the blue player's base, already going for a Seraphime in production, along with some Deltas around here. Now, that's a very, very rushed uh, Seraphima. Meanwhile, on my end, we can see here that I have like the shipyard as well as producing alligators along with one dragonfly. Now, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we got like one gun tower around here and more dragonflies to be produced. Now we see that Seraphim from the blue player are now headed towards my partner's base, which is John Wick. We fast forward a bit and on the five minute mark, is going to be under attack by that Seraphima. Now, nothing really here that he has to zone out the Seraphim just now. The uh, g the uh, Porcupine just arrived. However, the Seraphim already laid waste to out of two gun towers, which gives way to a land army on composition such as the Delta, as well as uh, assault infantries from being uh, attacking the land due to lack of the gun towers. All right. Now, on my end here, I'm going to expand my base bit with that construction yard, along with mass producing those alligators, along with that um, avia factory, and just now adding that special vehicle factory against those uh, seraphim. Gun tower here will be destroyed by those uh, delta. Okay, fast forward a bit here. Two porcupines aren't going to cut it against those deltas, and now the alligators cannot really move in to assist due to the fact that they lack the range. <clears throat> now with that in mind, I'm going to help out John Wick by sending my dragonflies over to his base and destroy the Delta, as well as that Seraphim to zone it out. Okay, Seraphim has now run away. We have successfully managed to throw that off and destroy those the remaining infantry. Now, I see here that this guy, the CN player, or Electus, trying to somewhat have those Vikings positioned onto my side and perhaps maybe attack me with the Viking along with Lucky UZB. Meanwhile, I'm ignoring this fact and are going HQ level 4 with three level 3 vehicle factory and an X facility or a research facility to produce those heroes. <clears throat> And now one viking here was unlucky enough to get in range of my platform along with some alligators. Now, I have noticed that some of my alligators are not firing, so I had them moved vertically for all of them to fire back. Hence, more, um, more uh, alligators can actually retaliate along with the naval platform at the back. This gives me the, ch the opportunity to... Uh, basically, zone out the attack. Now, additional naval platform before this engagement is finished. Yeah, from Lucky UZB. 
We see an engagement here from uh, John Wick laying waste to those Vikings. However, he doesn't have enough alligators to um, to destroy it. Meanwhile, I was trying my luck to destroy those <coughs> or attack the base and destroy Lucky UZB here. However, with that advanced construction of those platforms prevented me from doing so as I don't have enough alligators to destroy all those shipyards along with the Seraphim and the Vikings that are popping out. Meanwhile, that Seraphim landed around there and he's actually under attack. Now I'm gonna have to try and obtain this super or this container that was, uh, you know, that kind of popped up at that super container. And that Seraphim will be destroyed. Nicely done by my partner. However, his shipyard will be destroyed. Very nice. Managed to steal that super container. However, he, my partner is actually in danger and he is repairing that naval platform to somewhat um, defense successfully and prevent that platform from being destroyed. However, he, de he really doesn't have enough here and with the arrival of that Seraphim from the blue player, will evidently destroy that platform. Okay, Delta's here from the CN player to zone out those uh, dragonflies from my partner. Knowing all this, I'm going to send some of my dragonflies around here and some of my alligators to help him out. While upgrading my research facility or the hero facility or factory to level 3 to get that juicy Leviathan out. Now, I sent all my dragonflies around here to outnumber those deltas and effectively destroying them in the process. Doing micro on that uh, damaged uh, dragonfly, keeping it alive, and then it's gonna come back for more trashing. Sending in my uh, alligators and catching up on that delta that is, well, basically facing the rear. Or facing the rear, <laughs> not facing in front of me. Okay, so, ooh. Typhoons here along with again another Seraphima and the Cerberus. Okay, my Dragonfly is not nearly enough to contest against those Seraphim and Cerberus along with those three Typhoons in Azus. With the arrival of my Alligator, I managed to somewhat successfully defend the shoreline of my partner. Ser uh, Leviathan is now in production, more Alligator production here on my end, and I'm gonna have to try and attempt to zone out the uh, Seraphim but I'm unable to do so with the servers for it is Imba. Okay, so again, he's still sending out those. Meanwhile, my alligator successfully defend the shoreline and attacking that Seraphim. That Seraphim managed to run away because of, well, the Dragonfly doesn't have strafe ability unlike the Cyclone. Okay, so we fast forward by a bit. That Seraphim came back here along with the other Seraphim that was destroyed by my alligator along with that. Oh, okay. So close. Now I'm going to have to go back as I don't want to lose all my uh, dragonflies to the typhoons. My partner is severely damaged at this point. Um, yeah, and at this point I'm going to have to wait for my Leviathan to arrive at my partner's base. That's the only option I have now. Since I don't have anything to help him with apart from the alligators that I sent over to this location or positioned to this location in the hopes of intercepting any units that will arrive to his base. Okay. And now we see an example of don't get your servers too close to a building otherwise it'll kill himself with his own explosion radius. And there you go. Partner do have that two uh, naval platforms. I'm setting in additional alligators to help him out. Four typhoons are not going to be nearly enough to zone out a, a leviathan. Meanwhile, I did set up a uh, rifleman to, you know, hidden in the bushes to see whether there will be any attack coming from my end. Okay. Nice and neat. Dragonfly took out that uh, Seraphima. And those Vikings with the alligators. And now there's only one Typhoon or two. One has been destroyed, launching the nuclear on those Zeus. And maneuvering my uh, Dragonflies outside the range of the nuclear. Bam! So cleaning up the rest here would be easy. As they don't have any Typhoon. And we all know that the Zeus uh, rockets are not really that good against aviation. <clears throat> 
there you go now i'll set up my uh i'll set up the perimeter for defense here as i'll leave this on patrol while my partner comes back into the game meanwhile knowing that my alligators are here i'm going to non-stop produce those alligators along with some dragonflies and or jaguars and porcupines along with the wasp to help defend my base against any pending attacks or any coming attacks okay fast forward by a bit i'm gonna have to try and grab this super container with those jaguars and the dragonfly okay no luck here on my end for john wick's aside i did try to somewhat damage those uh, vikings but i don't have nearly enough dragonfly to effectively destroy them so I'm going to have to retreat. My Leviathan is here, going HQ4 as John Wick, as he is uh, feeling quite safe as I am around here. Okay, now this is very dangerous as I saw that Solaris coming in, immediately putting up two more gun towers here in my end with the production of the uh, Jaguars as well as a Dragonfly. Additional naval platform here as I'm expecting an attack from the shore side and I do lack the Viking count, so to, or the alligator count. And to compensate for that, I'm going to have to try and, of course, compensate with the number of platforms. Here goes the arrival of the Solaris, Cerberus, and the Seraphima. Here we go. Wow, one skill kills two. Wow. A okay, very powerful Solaris. Viking from the Sea Ampler is also here. I'm gonna have to try and get rid of that Solaris as best as I can, and it was affected by the Acid Burst. Cerberus will now be destroyed, and here goes the engagement on the ocean. Okay, Sir, Sir, a Solaris trying to help out as much as possible from above that cliff. However, it's gonna be short-lived due to it being destroyed by my, um, by my stuff. Meanwhile, I still left all my alligators around or four alligators around here however i did have my leviathan retreat yep there you go in order to defend my base seraphim managed to escape and is still here trying to harass my uh, dragonfly wasp army combination i'll be able to successfully defend this however my partner isn't so lucky because i drove majority of my units away from his base not that i'll even have enough to defend it with those huge chunk of Delta and all with the Typhoons. Okay. Knowing all that, I sent my Dragonfly and Wasp to my partner's base in the hopes of defending it. There you go. He's trying to sneak past the out outside of the alligator range. As this Seraphim tries to damage me, and as best as it as it could however i'm already expecting that and there you go some of the units came to the range of my stuff here and again cerberus coming back to my base seraphim running away and i'm going to have to use both my porcupines here to attack that seraphim okay reinforcement here from my end however that a uh, wasp of mine is not micro thanks to the lag as i was completely lagging at this point Vikings attacking my alligators for the back. And now we are looking pretty neat here as most of our dragonflies managed to defend this attack. Okay, now switching to an air raid boost. Successfully getting rid myself of that Seraphim. There you go. Seraphim from the CM player also destroyed. However, there is still the threat of the Vikings from this side. Meanwhile, I'm going to have to send my alligators once more to assist my partner um, defend the shoreline. He has like four avia factories for non-stop um, dragonfly production. We headed back towards here and this goes the power of the Solaris as the torpedo platforms will completely ignore him because he is hovering above the ocean and not actually floating on the ocean, you know, or sailing rather. So. My alligators could not do crap about that. It's outrange, outsped, and anything. So yeah, <clears throat> it's like a Kaiman on steroids now. Now going back here, I'll send all my alligators as well as the dragonfly along with the wasp to help defend against this. 
Unfortunately for me, I was not expecting that attack to come as soon as, like, now? Right, I was not expecting it to be this soon. Um, while I even sent some of my units away from my base. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try and attempt to attack that, um, Solaris. Dealing a little bit of damage to it, along with the dragonfly and some alligators. However, there are some typhoons above that cliff. As well as the platforms on an air raid boost attacking my stuff. So I'm going to have to retreat as I only have one platform remaining. Okay now. Ooh, coming back to attack he here. Now he's going to bite me back because my alligators are out of formation. Along with that server who's trying to intercept whatever that is going above this cliff for any like infantry or so on. New alligators popping out, however it is clear as day that I am out of position and outnumbered at this point with both the CM player trying to obtain that super container as well as the blue player trying to destroy my everything here on the ocean. Cerberus will be destroyed. Nuclear from the Leviathan. Kablooey. Okay. Therapy will now try to damage that, um, the Therapy will now attack my Leviathan. And again, the number of those Vikings are thinning out thanks to my Dragonflies. Solaris coming back here. Oh. Porque painimba. Okay, more Dragonflies here from my partner. And, uh, right now my base is under, tr or under attack as, um... My shipyards has been destroyed. Additional uh, aviation or avia factory here in my end. I got like HQ level 5 and so on. Now we fast forward a bit here. Now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna rush. But trying to prevent that super container from being collected. Seraphim came here and just thought of... Hey, I don't want you to get that, you know, don't want you to get that. Okay, scout here for my partner, John Wick. He's non-stop producing those uh, dragonfly. Okay. And uh, he'll use this wasp to collect that separate container. Again, I'll be adding grenadiers here into the mix, as I don't have in near enough command points to defend against everything. And, well, basically, um, I wanted to have something that is good against Delta, as well as Vikings and act as a meat bag as cheap as possible. So, Grenadiers are like the best choice for that. Okay, so again, damaging that Solaris as best as I can with the Dragonfly. Partner sending all his Dragonflies to my base in the hopes of supporting me. Meanwhile, again, that Cerberus is back trying to somewhat guard those Typhoons above that cliff. However, that's not really going to work as, of course, the Cerberus cannot really kill or destroy four alligator Jaguars. And now, those Vikings, along with the uh, Solaris, are charging towards close to that cliff. And now, a Seraphim is guarding it to guard those Typhoons. Nuclear. Okay, not really a direct hit. However, a good chunk of damage has been taken off that HP. Okay. Now, those Typhoons are on March mode, so it's better to attack them now than at their full potential when sieged. Now, even though they're going to be destroyed anyway, a lucky UZB tried to siege them up and deal as much damage as they can before being taken out. Good choice. Okay, now. I'm gonna have to come back here, destroy that Seraphim as best as I can, or if I can. Wa uh, Typhoon's been destroyed, another one's been revealed. Oh, a number of Delta! Ooh. By the way, Deltas are 2 CP, meanwhile, Dragonfly is 3 CP. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Okay. And here goes again, I'm gonna have to try and harass that, uh, harass that Solaris. And those Vikings are headed straight to my base. Additional dragonflies here on my end, along with some grenadiers to help defend. And that Solar or Seraphim 
will try and defend. Nice active here. Solaris will be destroyed. Lack of anti-air from the blue player. Partner with the dragonfly. He basically abandoned his base at this point. For he knows that his dragonflies are no match against the delta. Well, basically can outnumber him along with the typhoons. Okay. So he went back to my base or he went to my base in the hopes of supporting me defend. Okay, and now again there are those uh, typhoons which obviously lacks the typhoon count and no shield. We're gonna have to take advantage of this and snowball onto the blue player's base with this many dragonflies on hand while my partner's base act as a meat bag to delay the advance of the CN player in terms of attacking my base. Meanwhile I'm non-stop producing some units here. To send over this area to intercept this army in case the, in the event that this guy might attack my base with it. Okay, additional dragonflies headed away from those typhoons or torpedo platforms. Okay. This is very bad here for me. Here goes the, the uh, Leviathan already arrived here. And we're going to have to destroy that X facility once again. He even have two of those to produce the Seraphim as well as the ser or to produce the Cerberus and basically faster hero reproduction. There you go. I'm attacking the HQ directly to not give the blue player a chance to spam the Delta. I'll move my units around here as I'm only waiting for those Deltas to arrive. Meanwhile, some Delta of the Sea player is headed towards his partner's base. However, there's just too many here to counter. I got like Grand Deers, majority is Dragonfly, Jaguars, and a little bit of Porcupine in my Wasp and Leviathan. Meanwhile, there's that like that Solaris, four Vikings along with some Typhoons. Ooh. This is truly not looking good here for me. Okay. And now we're in the my partner is intercepting those the typhoons from the CM player. Meanwhile, I am holding the line here to defend this area and secure it so that to prevent the blue player from coming back into the game. Meanwhile, my Grenadiers, Dragonfly, and stuff are now gonna have to try and get rid of that Solaris as it deals a huge chunk of damage to my HQ. Oh my goodness, that Solaris is imba. <laughs> ah. Vikings has been destroyed because there is only a handful of those. Okay, I got like three Dragonfly here and uh, my partner actually retreated as he doesn't want to lose those, um, those Dragonflies. Obviously, he can no longer replace them, so... That's what he'll get until the end of the game. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have to try and damage that Solaris as best as I can. And of course, destroy the CM player trying to uh, somewhat attack and destroy my army around here. I did hide some army right here or units as of course that Solaris may actually come here and destroy them. Meanwhile, they successfully managed to destroy my HQ and at this point, I'm waiting like, where are those deltas? Okay. He tried to rebuild. Very good. Delta's coming over here. I don't really have a lot, but just seriously, this was going on live stream. When I moved my army around, he attacked me. How did he even know that? I'm not sure. Okay, so my partner has had enough. He's gonna have to destroy those naval platforms now and not give this blue player a chance to come back okay HQ finished he still has one supply center and is using emergency measure boost to gain more power I obtained that super container of course okay and now for some reason the CM player attacking the yellow well that's obvious he has a scout here but where are the deltas okay Blue player has completely been annihilated. 
and I'm actually afraid of that Solaris coming back here to finish up my HQ as it finishes itself. My partner will head back towards my base in order to defend it against those Delta attacks. Yep. I'm expecting those Typhoons to go there to attack this this uh, units that I have left in the blue player's location to, of course, destroy it. And then, of course, you know, he can rebuild. Solaris is around there from the blue player, Lucky UZB. And I don't really want him to come back to the game. So I'm going to have to hide some units here in my end to somewhat attack the HQ as it is being built while hiding them away from that Solaris if it ever comes back. Okay, getting more supply centers here on my end. We actually tried to attack the CM player from the side, however, it's not really going to work out. Okay, now. Got like plenty of units around here. And I'm going to have to produce or build those shipyards. Okay, this perfect opportunity arose and uh, I had my partner destroy that Solaris and uh, prevent any further threat to my base. Like outranging my Jaguars, outranging my stuff and everything. Or just speedily destroy it and run away. So I ordered my partner to somewhat destroy it on sight. There you go. Heavy air defense here from both the Delta and Typhoons from Electus. Okay. I did have my Wasp here in the hopes of defending those Dragonflies with the passive to avoid destroying. You know, from those, I mean, those Dragonflies from being destroyed. More Dragonfly here as well as, as, well as more Jaguars here on my end. Three shipyards and I'm planning to come back into the Alligator. Now, I'll be expanding my base once again to prepare for an oncoming space strike so that I can rebuild my base scattered and uh, no space strike will actually work. I also did advise my partner to hide those dragonflies away so that enemies will be you know, curious as to where it will be as well as avoid getting hit by the space strike if ever the enemy has those, the army will not be destroyed. Okay, alligator production here in my end. Lack of power is annoying. Ah. Ah. All right now, a scout here from my partner, John Wick. Confirms that there is level 5 HQ indeed. He's building up more anti-air towers. And of course, more power plants to supply power for those anti-air. And maybe later on in the game, go for a space strike. Meanwhile... <laughs> Porcupines versus Typhoons. Yay! More Typhoons. Okay, now I see those Typhoons are moving out. Okay, that's a... Oh, good lord, the Scourge has arrived. Okay, so I'm going to have to try and defend this as best as I can. I got like my Jaguars around here to intercept those Typhoons, lessening the anti-air capability, Acid Strike, there you go, well done. And now, my partner heading towards my base, and now going to have to try and attempt to assist me in terms of defending this. Alright, that's going to be it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Um, smash the like button and ring the bell icon to be notified of any upcoming content of course leave a comment on the comment section to uh, set or provide your feedback as to what you thought of this battle likewise everyone thank you so much for watching have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles as that army will be cleaned up along with the hq of the blue player who's trying to come back into the game it's gg